good evening YouTube. I'm here this evening with my new newest acquisition for my test bench. This is a uh, oldie but a goodie. I uh, I had one nearly the same as this. The metering functions were identical. Um, ranges, you know, the meter face, all that was identical. The only difference was mine was the rounded case, not square like this one. Mine was a little newer model. I think mine was a 22-220, where this one is a 22-206. Uh, uh, this one's from 1975. I bought mine in the later part of 70s, uh, 79, 80, somewhere around in there. And uh, I'm sure it was an updated model, but like I said, the only thing I can think of that was different was that the case was rounded instead of squared off like this one. Um, this thing's in pretty good shape. I bought it on eBay for $29.99 shipped, which I thought was a pretty good price. I had been looking looking at uh, VTVMs, and the uh, cheapest I could come up with one of those uh, on eBay was around $40 shipped, so I figured this is a better deal. I mean, it's the same if not better input uh, uh, impedance than, than uh, um, the VTVMs and the only difference really is that instead of uh, vacuum tubes this uses dual uh, FET transistors which is field effect transistors um, as, uh, as the amplifier for it so it's a decent uh, decent little meter it came with uh, the, the standard probes, which I'll show you in a minute, it also came with some extra stuff. It uh, The only difference, the, the yellow wire there is just the banana plugs and alligator clips on the other end. Uh, and the, uh, the the long probe, the long red one, it's just got a uh, probe on one end and a uh, alligator clip on the other. I don't know why that was even in there, but, you know, it was in there. So here, let me take this, open it up. Yes, that's the original box, and uh, there's the meter and the, the leads for it. Set this up here. Uh, like I said, it's in very good shape. It, uh, it like I say, it's identical to the one I had. Um, it has the uh, take these up. I can do this one-handed. Has the uh, manual with it, which is, again, very nice. Um, this is just uh, I haven't cleaned it up or anything. It's, it's a little bit dirty, not much. Uh, like I said, it's just a. It'll make an outstanding uh, analog meter for my my bench. I, uh, I kind of like the idea of having an analog meter for some measurements. You like to see that needle go up and down. I mean, and with digital meters, it's just uh, that's just something you lose because you know they're going to register, they'll go up and down, but you can't really keep up with them. The readings are not uh, linear like this is. So anyway, like I said, it does seem to have a working battery in it. Uh, it does check good. Um, I haven't actually checked any resistance. I did short the probe leads together, and it does go to zero, and it can be zeroed out. And uh, so, I'm assuming it works. Um, not really a lot to it. I looked at the the uh, schematic is on the manual, so uh, you know I think maybe there may be one or two caps in there. There's not really very many caps. It's mostly resistors and the the transistors. So, um, like I said, there's, I'm going to be doing some checking on it uh, when I have something to measure. Right now, the only thing I could really measure the line voltage, and you know that's I don't know. That's just not what I want to measure. I want to measure some DC stuff. I guess I could measure a battery or something, but like I said, I'll, I'll uh, when I get into putting this back together, I'm going to uh, be checking voltage on it and uh, substituting or resistors to get the proper voltage. Uh, those diodes are supposed to be here by Saturday. They just came from Kentucky, but they went all the way to Knoxville, Tennessee. First, I don't know why, but they did. So, still waiting on those. And then uh, my terminal strips, 
I didn't really get a tracking number, just says first class tracking and there was no number provided, so that's coming all the way from the west coast, so it may take a while to get here. Uh, anyway, I just wanted to put this little short video up. <laughs> Not a short video, five, six minutes. Anyway, so uh, thanks for watching. I want to add this little update too uh, on the probe. Uh, the other side is dry or cured, whatever you want to call it. Um, so I went ahead and put a bead around the inside, as you can see. That will be set up tomorrow evening. And uh, then I can go ahead and attach the red wire to the little spring there, solder that on, and uh, pretty much the probe will be ready to use then. I'm hoping that uh, the uh, little perp board will fit in there without any alteration, but you know, if, if so, I can cut a little off the end if I have to. But uh, it should work out very well, I hope. So I just wanted to add that little update to this video, so thanks for watching.